and welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop. This is Steve here, Kim. Hi, everybody. We're here to play a new game. If you want to get the chat channel, that's Skyrim. Yes. This is a adventure board game, so based upon the popular video game, is by by Modifius, and we're going to sit down and show you free roam mode. So we did have a preview of this one on the channel before. Um, but now we'd like to bring you Free Roam, which shows you kind of how you can play without the campaign. So I figured this might be a good idea to play so that you don't have as many spoilers. We will be teaching the game as we play, so you get an idea of how it works. Good. And if you join us live, you get a good rate. <laughs> I was work. I could use that. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, teaching as we go. And if you watch, happen to watch us live, we are watching the chat. So if you have any questions, let us know, and we'll do our best to answer those questions. Cool. But yeah, this is a big one. This is a really tough to fit on the board, so hopefully it helps. There's a lot. There's a lot of things, a lot of things. Yeah. So it actually plays very smooth, though. So, yeah. Ready to do this thing? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we are at the board. It is quite large. I tried fitting on the screen and the camera. <laughs> this is a lot going on. I have some cards on top of the board uh, just to, to help illustrate what's going on. But yes, this is the world of Skyrim. Uh, there are lots of locations on the board with roads connecting them. There are basically three types of locations. So I'll talk to the board real quick. So there are um, strongholds, which are your cities, like here's Riften down here. Uh, there's Winterhold up here. Um, there's a few of them all over the place. And each stronghold also has a chart up here. And this chart shows you what what's unique about each stronghold. They all have different things you can buy there. Uh, the cost might change a little bit, for example. In Riften, you can buy green and blue from the green and blue market decks, which you see up there in the corner. And anything you sell there, you get plus one extra uh, money from selling there. Cool. So also, this board here, which I'll explain, this is threat markers. As we go through the game, we'll have to add more of these tokens to the board. We can put them on our quests. If we can't, we have to put add them to the board. And as add them to the board, the first one will make a city unstable, can't access the market. Second one, you can't even go in there. You have to spend five money to even enter that space. The last one is riding, and they add more and more threat markers to the board. That's how we lose the game in free roam. Okay. If at any point we basically Skyrim is all riding, we're done. So uh, you, we can always spend five money while in the city to remove one of those tokens. Okay. So you can help repair the cities as you go through the game. So those are the cities. There's a bunch around the board. There's And the other things you see is there's wilderness spaces. So like down here, this is a wilderness space. So uh, we'll draw a wilderness card. There's a big deck of cards over, ooh, over here, that gold deck. And so that's going to be random events. Also, we can also have random events in cities. There's a city deck as well. That's any of the strongholds I mentioned. So those are the two spots. The other spots on the board are all various dungeons you go into. There are caves, there are mines, there is dwarven ruins. So any other space is a dungeon. And there's there's different types of enemies you might encounter, and they're a little bit more difficult as you go into certain, certain of them. Okay. So that's the board. We also have our character board as well. So we have, actually, let me look at your board, because yours fits on the camera a little bit slightly better. So Kim is going to be playing as a Nord. Fierce Nord. That's right. And we have different areas on on the um, on the screen here. So we have uh, space for experience that goes right here. Uh, you have space for money that goes right down here. And then this spot here is where you put all your components. There are going to be three different types. There's going to be plants or in soul gems. Plants are used for powering your, your potions, basically. Uh, soul gems are for enchanting and ores for upgrading your your armor weapons. So just like regular Skyrim the video game, you can upgrade, enchant, and all that fun stuff in this one as well. Next to that, we have our experience. So this is where we, this is how we level up. We will put all the levels in that spot. And the first one we have unlocked is a seven. So that means to level up for the first time, we need seven experience. We spend that. We go. We put a, a token there. Then we move on to the next one, which is eight, so on and so forth. You fill this whole thing up, then it requires 15 experience to level up. That's to get to legendary status. And you gain, excuse me, you gain experience from fighting bad guys and yep. leading quests and stuff like that, just yep. like in the actual game? Okay. Exactly. It'll, it'll tell you on the cards what you get for experience. And then you also have your your tracks. So you have a might track, and a stamina track, and a magic track. 
our health track basically. And we have cubes right here in this line that is our stoppers. So our health, our stamina, and magic can't go above that sp space. As we play, every time we level up, we will be able to move one of these cubes forward one space. So then we can have more space for magic, health, or whatever you need to. Okay. So, and we have space on the board for all our equipment. So Kim is carrying a battle axe for right here, and we'll look at it closer when we do battling. She also has armor in her foot space, apparently, which you might, you might put over to the armor space. Excuse me. There you go. And then you can also have four uh, potions or trinkets. It doesn't have to be two and two. It could be just any four. And then below here, you have all your backpack stuff. So and then you carry your backpack and status fields. Okay. Pretty straightforward. So that's all that stuff. We'll go through that in combat when we get into it. Okay. So that is the player board. That is that board. We have space for events, world events. I think that's all the stuff you see in front of us. I think at this point, let's just talk over our characters real quick and then start playing the game. Okay. So Kim will go first. You've chosen to play Inord. So she has a once per game turn battle cry. So in combat, you can lose one health, that's what that symbol means, to use an offensive action without being attacked. Okay. So you get to do a free attack without any repercussions, which is really cool. But it's only... Um, Oh, there's no limit to this. Oh, once per game turn. Yeah, once per game turn. So each round of play, you can do it. Okay. And then here it says, if you happen to learn two-handed and smithing, you get bonuses to those upgrades. So it, it kind of says, hey, you might want to get these, but you don't have to. You can upgrade however you want. So this will give you damage to your double-handed weapon. And smithing, it lets you spend less, uh, less ore to upgrade. Okay. I am going to be playing as an Imperial today. So I have luck. When drawing loot, I get to lose health and draw two cards and pick one. So this way you're telling me uh -huh. you're just going to run around all Skyrim territory looking for loot. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> <laughs> you knew it was coming. Okay. <laughs> and then for me, if I learn block, my blocks become better. And if I learn restoration as a spell, I can heal a little bit better as well. If I decide to go that route. Okay. Okay. That's my character. Um, I am carrying an iron shield and iron sword. Kim decided to grab iron armor and iron battle axe. We each chose two equipment so you can to start. And to start the game, we can choose any city we want to to begin our game. What about White Run, right in the middle? Both of us in there? I mean, sure. sure. Why not? Sure, why not? We'll do it. You're going to run away finding loot anyway. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, enough preamble. Let's start the game and we'll teach as we go. So, here we go. First things first. Let's look at the turn sequence. First thing you do is you do any before drawing event card effects, which we don't, have done of. And then start player, which there is a marker, this marker here, and I'm going to shape this marker to start, just does. We'll draw the event card. So, and there's three types of events, instant, active, and world quest. And we'll see all of them as we play. Not going to explain right now. After we do that, um, we'll have to resolve the effects and add the threat to the board. And then we all move, and then we'll do an action. And I'll explain how that works. So let's do the event real quick. So first event of the game is a call. Oh, stand in the middle. There you go. A call to arms. This is a world quest. So what this means is we're going to put one of these neutral quest markers on the board, marking where you to do it in. This is White Run. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, that's right there. Yeah, that's exactly where we are. So, so put that right there. Knock this quest out right <laughs> right away. Yeah, we could. But only one person can do it. I got it. Which is fine. And it appears this is the threshold. So as I said, uh, we'll be adding certain tokens to the board. And this one can be can have up to two of these tokens before it automatically fails. So the threat, every time you draw these events, it adds these tokens somewhere. And this is what pushes the game forward. So okay. you can't just lollygag around and... <laughs> you just start powering up your levels like you do in the actual game, yeah, exactly. the video game. It's like, I'm playing a side quest over here. I'm just picking Oh, wait, let's put them here. <laughs> like, no, I'm super strong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, okay. Exactly. So, so the game forces you to progress. I got you. It does. So this says, the companions are looking for new members to join the ranks. Can you prove yourself worthy? Yes. Are you Thor? A mighty Thor. <laughs> And then we have two threat markers, so we have to add them someplace. Right now? Right now. Just throw That's them. What it means. Throw them in. Put one on here. Yeah. Because we do it right away. And we have to add another word someplace. We have no other quest cards currently because we just started the game, so we have to add another two on the cities. 
Um, do one that's far away. Mark Hearth. Sure. We'll do this one, I guess. We'll put a fire marker right there. All right. So that's our two. Okay. And then you can look at the bottom one, but it doesn't matter until you're there. This one, you're going to have to test your might. So, okay. So this is a world quest. You place it over on the world quest area. Okay. So that's the first thing we do. Now we do movement. Movement is simultaneous and everyone has a movement speed of four. At some point, you could spend 10 gold at a city to buy a horse, and it gives you plus one move. But right now, we only have four speed. Okay. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Not going anywhere? Well, I mean, can I do my action and then move, or I have to move and then do my world quest event thing? No, you have to move. Everyone moves, and then everyone does one action. Okay, but my action is doing the world quest, so I'm not okay. moving. Well, to show some variety, then, I will go someplace else. <laughs> Don't leave me. I'm going to be fine. Too will be fine. Okay. Um, let's go explore the wilderness. I'm going to go, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm going to go over here to this wilderness space. See what's out there. Okay. Okay. So now we did a movement. Now we can do our actions. So the actions are, are um, thus. Thusly. Let me pull this up. You're thinking. <laughs> I am. Okay. So here's the actions you can do. You can explore a dungeon. Explore the wilderness, explore town, or resolve quests. Those are, you can do one of those things. You're going to be doing the last one. Resolving quests. Resolving quests, yes. yes. I'm going to be wilderness one. Okay. Like one from the top. So. Now, since you have this marker, your first player, and you do your action first? It doesn't really matter. In fact, it says you can take them at the same time. For this playthrough, though, I think we'll do everything one at a time so everyone can follow along with what we're both doing. Okay. Otherwise, it's like, why am I watching this, right? I want to know what's going on. That's right. So, okay. so I can... You want to do the world quest first? Yes. Okay. So what does this say? Okay, so your action is going to be test your might. So you see here it's got three symbols. It's three dice. So you roll three dice. Okay. And then if you have one-handed, two-handed, or archery skill, you add another dice to that roll. Which you don't have any skills. We have no just skills. Started. We had just started. We're no. skillless. <laughs> and then the result is you need two circles and pushing so if you roll the dice you can always choose to push which means you can add another dice to the roll okay and in order to do that for every dice you need to spend a plant which i have two of yep so you do can... i have to define that before i roll nope you roll the dice and you can add push afterwards okay so i just need two successes on these three dice that's correct and these and then if you're successful you do this if you fail you do this now the dice we should talk about those real quick oh i suppose yeah they are they have three circles on them, two, three, three circles on them, two triangles on them, and one diamond on them. And they're all the same. So you get, you get an idea of what your odds are to roll that. And luckily for this quest, you need circles. Odds are in my favor. So the odds are in your favor to do it. So go ahead and type right to the test. The might of Thor! Oh, balls. <laughs> hey, Darius, are you playing the campaign uh, or free roam? We're doing free roam. Free roam. So there's no campaign spoilers. That was the thought. That's correct. If you if you are playing the campaign, you start with part two and nine. Exactly. We're not doing that. Yep. So we want to leave that spoiler free. So this is just free roam. But yes. yeah, it does add a lot more to the game if you're playing with um, campaign mm -hmm. because it does lead you with a backstory, which is really cool. Yes. Um, but there's, there's a lot of campaign videos out there already. I didn't see many free roams, so we decided to do free roam for tonight. Yes. Okay. And I didn't want to spoil anything. And I don't really feel like starting another campaign. we got to finish Pandemic, <laughs> yeah. and then we can get into another campaign. Exactly. I, I, uh, my, I think I failed. You did fail. So, But, but I can not spend yet. the plant. You can spend plants. And I can get another die. Correct. So I'm going gonna, to spend one, Okay. because I can push one at a time. Yep, right? one at a time, exactly. Where do you want this? Just roll. No, oh, just, just um, I'll stop there, get you. Okay, come on. I just need... It's a 50-50 shot on this roll. Yep. Girl. You want to push it again? Uh, yes. <laughs> You're committed. You're committed. <laughs> this is all I got, though. This is this it. This is it. This is it. Oh, again, no plan. You keep going. But you, you if, if I... If, if you could shoot a little bit. Oh, it's like that stinking wall from that deep rock game. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, we degrade white run, and then that simply means remove this card. Ugh. So what that means is we degrade, means we add a threat marker to Whiterun, <laughs> and this card gets removed. I feel like I'm a, a fresh hero right out of training, trying to prove myself, <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> Sweet no, <goodness>. no. <laughs> <laughs> so this marker goes away. That marker goes away, yep. 
And then let's resolve my wilderness quest. Let's go ahead and draw a wilderness card. Okay, we're going to move right on from that failure. We'll, we'll pretend that never happened. <laughs> well, no, it did. There's a mark on the board. There is a mark on the board. Okay. Karen Chul, a crazy old woman. I got ideas that keep me up at night. So many ideas! I need an assistant to write them down. How fast can you write? So it says gain one resource. So I can gain, I can choose an ore, a plant, or a soul gem. Now, because down here it requires soul gems to push, it's, it might be a good idea to do that. And you know what? Just for kicks, I will I'll do so. I'll grab a soul gem. So I immediately get that regardless of what happens. Okay. Now, I can try to write faster. Do it. So I need to roll three dice, and if I have enchanting, I roll an extra dice. I need three circles. Oh, you aren't gonna... Well, maybe I used up all our bad luck. Maybe. We'll find okay, out. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Sounds like they're playing free roam. Yes, we are playing free roam. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes, exactly. So hope I hopefully have that on the on the title of this on the game on the video. But if not, we are playing free room. So okay. So I roll my dice, and then if I'm successful, I'll get some some experience, and then even more components. Other and then we'll talk about this bottom part in a second. So here we go. I roll three dice. I need three circles. Well, I did not do it. Should I push it? Yes. Push it. Yes. Okay. You just want me to spend all my resources like you did. I don't feel so bad. Exactly. All right, so I'm going to just re-roll this one. There we go. Oh, three it. circles. Look at that. Completed. Okay, so it's worth getting that soul. Soul stone. So now I gain two experience. And then I get two more components. Um, You are... I know you're not good at upgrading yet. You will be. I'm, I'm not very... So I gain two experience. <laughs> uh, I'll grab... I'll grab an ore this time, a two ore this time, so so we can upgrade our, our weapons. Now I have the option of taking on this personal quest of helping this crazy old woman. If I choose to do so, I remove this from the game and I draw a card one from the deck. Do it. Do it. We'll do, do a personal it. quest. So personal let's, quest. This is gone. I'm going to decide to help this crazy old woman. So let me grab the card here, card one. Okay, so this is a personal quest. You can tell it's a personal quest because there's a dot up here. And you can have up to, I believe, two personal quests. Yeah. So, Unstable Device Part 1. And this can have up to four uh, threat tokens on it. The nice thing is, I could take a personal quest just to absorb those threat tokens and just let it fail if I want to. But here she is. Karen looks desperate. Please help me. Brigitte stole my experimental device. Help me recover it, and I'll share its secrets. So I need to put a marker, one of my markers, oh, what's your screen, unfortunately, on the wilderness space in Winterhold. So Winterhold is up here in this region. No, nope, not what I was pointing at. Yep, nope. and the wilderness space is right there. So that's where I have to go to help her with an unstable device. Okay. Okay. Right. Good job, Steve. That was our action. I took an action. You took an action. Mm -hmm. And now we are on to the next part of this phase, which is... Oh, yeah. So we take to take our actions, and then anyone can level up. And then we pass the start player marker. So you're now a start player. Okay. That was a whole round. It plays really fast. Okay. So now let's do the next event. Here we go. Vampires on the road. Our time has come. Okay. Move one vampire token toward the nearest stronghold. If it reaches the stronghold, degrade it and remove the token. If there are no vampire tokens on the board, place a place one in a wilderness space. You are in a wilderness space. You want me to fight a vampire right I can now. come fight with you. I feel like that's a bad idea, though. But I can. You can. What do you want to do? So we'll be putting one of these markers on the board. 366. This tells what card we draw when we face it. But basically, these are roaming monsters, and we could put it there if you want. Do you want to fight it, or not? You know, are you? I don't even remember how difficult they are, to be honest. Well, we played this very. We, how about we put it up here? Okay. So then, that's actually one, two, three. I can get there, and it's a little bit close to my quest destination. Anyway. And I can meet you there, and I can help you fight it. That's right. Okay, let's that's do right. that. All right. So that is all we have to do. Oh, and that card I did does have the two threat on it. Basically, every card in the game is two threat for the most part. So I will go ahead and absorb that on my personal quest down here. 
So other, if you wouldn't have done that, would that have gone on to the cities? It would have. Oh. It would have, yep. Okay. How do we get money? Uh, You will get it for doing stuff, and you can sell, sell things. I didn't get Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run up here. You want to fight that thing? Okay, I'll come help you. you. I'll come help you. Is that you. a bad idea? I don't remember how difficult they are. They're, we're probably going to die. I, probably. You know what? If I remember right, like I was saying, we played very briefly with our son. We we did struggle with one of the Roman guys. I don't remember what it was. I forget who we fought, yeah. Ah, why does well go for it? Ah. <laughs> we, right. we die, we die. Yeah. <laughs> very quick night. So, so we, 366. 366. Here we go. Grab that card. 366. And here is the Blooded Vampire. So, 366 is the number up there. He's got the uh, kind of undead symbol. So, a couple things to look at for this guy. Um, we'll do the sneak test right away. I'll tell you what that means. And then on the side of the board, we're going to be putting these markers. So, he's going to have magic armor and light armor. There's also heavy armor as well. And so each monster can have these armor types. And then basically, our, in order to defeat it, we have to knock all its armor to zero. Okay. If we do, everyone involved will get this experience. And then each person can choose one of these four boxes to get the reward. So unfortunately, this one, only one person will get some resource. Just one resource. Dibs. Dibs, okay. <laughs> yeah, if it's this way, it's probably because it's easier to defeat. But we're low level, so who knows what's going to happen. Yeah. All, all right. right. So what's sneak? So sneak. So for sneak... Let's look at this real quick. For combat, the first thing... Ooh, ooh, let's get this off the board real quick. Oops, there we go, that's better. For sneak, um, it happens once before the normal combat happens. And so one person can try to sneak. If they, they are successful, you do a free hit. Okay. If you're unsuccessful, generally nothing happens unless the, the, the creature has ambush, which we'll explain later when it happens. Other than that, we'll do normal combat, which we'll get to in a second. So, one of us can sneak. Do you have any sneaking ability that... I don't. So, both of us have a neat, native role of three sneak. Okay, I, I think but... I should do it because my weapon will go through his armor. Because I have a heavy weapon? Is that what that's called? I would love for you to go first. However, you actually have... Oops, oops, oops. I'm all over the place. You actually have heavy armor, which means you can't sneak. Oh. You're kind of clunking around. Clunky, just... Yeah. <laughs> Shh, so, quiet. <laughs> I still have my robes, and that's okay. light armor, so All I can right. do that. You All can right, tell yeah. that by the symbol up there. All right, well, you sneak then. So I will try to sneak up on this vampire, which is easy to do, right? Because he is... No, it's not. He has three... I need three circles to do it. Also, sneak, he can't push. Okay. So it's one and done. But luckily, if I fail, nothing bad happens. We just need regular combat. Yeah. So here we go. Come on, three circles. That's not three circles, I think. That's right. <laughs> He turns and spots you. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay. Now, how combat works is we'll choose someone to go. You'll go first, because okay. I went. And every time you go, you tap your person, so you get, keep track of who, who went. And then after both people are tapped, then anyone could go. So I chose to sneak. You will go first. First thing you'll do in the combat, and let's pull this up so everyone can follow along. Um, you will... You will roll the bad guy dice. First? Well, at first you can spend any re-equip, spend any, any potion. What if I want. want to do my battle cry, where in combat I can lose a health? Oh, no! I forget. Oh, Darius, thank you. I do have a sneak. Ah! Ah! Look, I got sneak one right here, and I totally forgot about that. Well, you only had one success. Yeah, I would roll an extra die. My, I apologize. Thank you, Darius, for catching that. Nice, though. Because should you want to roll it, and then you could be, like, I'd be closer. It doesn't matter. I would need two circles to do it, yeah. so it would have failed regardless. You're right. So we'll roll the dice, see what the enemy does, then you can choose an offensive, defensive, or special action. So if you choose offensive, then the enemy die will happen immediately, and then you attack. So you basically take the blow. If you do defensive, you try to block it, and then if you don't block it, you, the, off, the enemy die happens. Same thing with special. You do the special effect, and then the enemy die will happen. That was in one and not the other. Yeah. I still want to know if I can do my battle cry first, before we roll the enemy die, or do we still roll the enemies? die and then i say i'm doing my battle cry well first you roll the enemy die first okay and then you can do your battle cry all right so this die will correlate to one of those yep maybe fire nothing happens he yep. is sleeping he has no fire symbols on his card so he's not attacking right now 
Okay, but... So you have basically have a free attack. So... He wouldn't attack me anyway, so Correct. I don't need battle cry. You don't need battle cry. Okay, so I'm not going to do my battle cry. Yep. Instead, I'm going to take my battle axe and do a... Let me see if I'm reading this right. Yeah, let's zoom in so on So I would one. need to do a swing. I need two circles. How many die am I rolling? Two? It, you Every die roll is three, okay. plus if you're skilled and you roll an extra dice. Okay, so... So I, you want to do your chop? I, I kind of want to do the chop, but that's yeah. that's the one in six, right? Yes. You're rolling three dice for one in six chance. But you can't push. No, you, I don't have anything to push with. With combat, when you push, you spend the same resource you use to trigger that effect. So this one, you use stamina. You oh. missed, you spend another stamina to roll another die. You can do it, and you can do that up to two times because of this here. So he's got a little, little uh, symbol down okay. there. The, the little squares. Little, okay, so since yeah, he's, not, squares right he's here. not attacking me, so I might as well go for the chop because if I miss, I'm not. nothing's going to happen. That's correct, if you do miss. Yeah, yep. okay, I'm going to go for the chop. So you first you spend so your one stamina. My stamina. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you're going to roll your three dice, and then we'll explain what this, uh, this heavy attack damage does. I need oh, a diamond. Yeah. Where, oops, am I, where are you going? I'm going over here. I'm okay, you want me to roll over here? Yeah, yeah. No diamond. No diamond. I, I think I'll just let it be. Really? I can push it? It's a free hit. If I hit? If you hit. I, you don't have to, though. You I, don't no, have to. I'm going to push. It's one die, though. It's one more stamina to roll another die, yep. Uh, okay, See, okay. I knew it was a good damage. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. You can let, let go. Yes. Okay, so we get a miss. I'm not very good. <laughs> We're on low level. We're low level. Okay. So you're tapped. Now okay. now we both are expensed, so we can ready our people up again. Okay. Okay, so next combat round. Uh, roll the die. Uh, you want to go again? Because I feel like if you hit him, you'll be more effective than me. I don't have a lot as much damage as you do. Okay. Nothing. Oh, fire. Nothing. Sweet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my chop again. Yep. I really could just do the swing, and every once in a while I'll ping him down a little bit. Good. But no, I'm gonna You're go good. for the big hit. Go for the big hit. Okay. Diamonds. Oh my gosh! Everything's flying all the board. No, no diamonds. I just need to start chopping. You push? No, I'm already like down <laughs> okay, three stamina. Okay. All right, okay, so that's your, three. Take uh, your turn. My turn. So let's roll the die. Lightning bolt. He's gonna freeze you. Yep. So what this means is he's going to attack me with two magic attack and one stamina attack. And so looking at my board here, um, I only have yellow armor right now. And actually I have red armor too. So I don't have anything that blocks the, that damage. So I'm not going to reduce that damage. It's straight two damage to me. The green stamina means my stamina bar will be depleted by one. Mm-hmm. If I don't have any stamina, I take health instead. So he's attacking me for two hits plus one stamina. I could choose to block it. If I block it, for example, with a, a shield, he tells the block because it has no effect. I would roll three dice. I need a circle, and I can successfully block it. Nothing bad happens to me. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. But then I'm not attacking him. The downside. Yes. So, um, what do you want to do, Steve? Attack! I feel like it's got attack. No, I feel like that's the worst worst situation. So let's block it. <laughs> you don't agree? I'm, I'm just okay. Clearly, my method is not working. So you can listen <laughs> to me. I'm so not... I spend one stamina, and I need a single circle for the roll to block it all. Oh yeah, look at that super block. <laughs> okay, you're up, Kim. Uh... Didn't I just go already? Or... No, I went. It's not your turn. Okay. Lightning bolt. He's doing another freeze for you. Um, I could also not block it. Can you do your battle cry? Yes, battle cry. In combat, lose one health to use an offensive action without being attacked. Yep. So I can attack him, and this voids the Doesn't lightning bolt. Yep. Okay. So that's my understanding. Spending a health. Okay. I'm doing a swing attack. A normal attack, not the normal super swing. super chop. My stamina is going down one. I need two circles. Son of a! Now I got the. <laughs> now you got your diamond. I got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> How did I get two diamonds? I'm pushing. Okay. Because I just need one circle. 
One sec, girl. There it is. Okay, okay. so this So means... let's talk about how this works. <laughs> and then we finally hit. So you picked, um, I'm assuming red. Oh, yeah, because he doesn't have red shield. That's right. So she chose two red uh, heavy attack. He doesn't have any red armor, so he's not reducing at all. So it's just two damage, and you can pick what track you hit it to. So that goes down one, and we'll send that down to one. One each? Cool. Yeah. Yep, and if they had the armor, what you do is you would do the difference of it. So let's say you had two red or three red armor. You would do uh, two minus three, which is basically zero, but you always do minimum one. Okay. So even if he blocks all, they take one damage. Good. Now he only has his pink to take out. Okay, so you took your turn, I took my turn. Well, now we're both ready, and now we can go again. You want to go again immediately? I'm so mad that I got two damage on that. Well, if you, if you do another swing, it's only two I'm damage. Gonna, I'm doing it's another swing. So okay. Let's see what he's doing. Okay. Okay, so he's going to swing at me, which is two, two yellow. yellow. And you oh. have no yellow defense. And I have... Uh, this is going to be my last action. Maybe I should have first. Oh, well, too late now. Too late. So I'm uh, going to be totally... So spent. you're going to take the damage right now, then. Why? Because you're doing an offensive attack. Oh, yeah. So you're going to take his his two... Yep, exactly. That's fine. I spent the one to do my swing. Yep. Okay. Come on. If you hit this, you think you take him out. Yes! Yeah! Take that. There's two circles. Two circles. He's yep. dead. Two damage, he's gone. Okay. Woo! Okay, so we you all get the one experience, and then one of us gets a resource. Uh, I I want it. You want what? A resource. A resource? What do you a want? A plant. A plant. Okay, there you go. And a um, a skill thingy. Yep, there you go. Thank you. Experience. So at the end of each combat round, your track, your health, sorry, your stamina and magic track will go to full. At the end of combat completely, your health will go to full as you rest. So right now we can bring all our stuff back up. Wait, when when would this these two gone back up? At the end of each. Each room, if you have multiple rooms, at the end of a room, you refresh those to max. Oh. Yep. Okay. All right, Steve. Okay. That was it. Uh, no one can level up. We do another round. Here we go. So does this go away? No. Well, that got discarded. It's, it's a one-time event. One-time effect. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's, it doesn't say anything. There'll be other events that stay out, but that one's gone. How much of the game did you, how much of the game did you crowdfund? Uh, good question, Howard. So, actually, I should mention this earlier. Um, I forgot to. My, my apologies. The publishers were really nice, and they, I did pre this, so he sent me the core set. So, this is provided by the publisher. I did back it uh, for an expansion and another 5 8 player module as well. Oh. So, I, I backed it for additional stuff on my own dime as well. So, a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. The one thing I didn't get, I didn't get the Dawn Guard expansion specifically. Um, that's the one big gameplay element I did not get. All right, here we go. This is an active event. So there's an a, a space here for active events. It'll stay there until a new active event takes its place. So there's a horse thief. And this is going to be in Windhelm, which is over yonder. Um, we also have to have the two threat. So if you do this, you gain a horse, draw this card, and get, remove this one. So that'll be there as an available quest for someone to do. I will take one of those threat tokens because I'm probably going to do this thing here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have to put one more on the board someplace. Just pick a spot. Um, let's have Mark Frith kind of fall in disarray there while we're at it. All right. So now we do movement, right? Now we do movement. I want a horse, so... Yeah, you can go there. I'm going to go up to the wilderness space to try to complete this unstable device. Okay, so you're going here. Yep. I how can I get there? One, two, three, four. Uh, I guess I gotta go this way. Two, three, four. Okay. So I get a forest. Uh, technically, this is yours. Yep. So I get a forest card. Yeah, we do your card first. That's fine. Oh no, you do yours. Oh. You're in your quest. That's fine. Let me do first. Yeah, do your crazy lady thing. Okay. So remember, I'm trying to help her with her unstable device. I have to clear card three seventy two. Dun dun dun. I went all in gameplay wise, so this is either a great investment or quite expensive shelf ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> so to be honest, Howard, um, I was kind of iffy on the game when I tried it on TTS. I've been really enjoying this one. Um, I've played it. I've restarted the game six or so times, 
And this quest I've seen before. I've not seen the whole thing yet. Um, so this is the second time I've seen a repeat quest. Otherwise, I haven't seen many repeats. That's good. So it's very replayable from that standpoint. Uh, and I've seen a lot of people have a lot of people I've introduced to have actually really liked it. If you're a fan of Skyrim, unsurprisingly, people tend to really like it because you understand the references and what that stuff means. But um, yeah, I've been I've been really happy with this one. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Really enjoyed this. Good. All right. The nice thing is it plays really fast. As hopefully you get the feeling here, which is great. Okay, so three seventy two. What do I have to do? Oh, of course there's brigands. He doesn't look that bad. The brigands stole her device. So I gotta fight the brigands. No, they're not too bad. So I have to clear this. I have to defeat him. So this guy does have might. Three might. Sneak one. So easy to sneak up on. I say that, but... Don't good. forget you have a sneak because of your robes. I do. <laughs> Don't forget this time. So let's do that sneak. Okay. So sneak first. We need four dice. Excuse me, to be three to see if I was paying attention. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see if we can do a free attack on this guy. I need just a single circle. Got All it. right, I got it. So what that means is I get to do a free attack. How that works is I need to spend a resource as if I was attacking, but I don't roll the dice. So if I needed a diamond, I'll actually get a diamond, whatever I need. doesn't matter. So I'm going to choose to do my iron sword here. And I have... It doesn't really matter what I do, to be honest. Because... Yeah, it doesn't matter. So if I would, just for kicks, let's do the two red. Let's explain how damage works in this game. So I'm going to do my slash. I'm going to spend one stamina to do a slash. I would normally have to roll my dice, but like I said, because I successfully sneak, sneaked up on him, I do the damage on immediately. So it's two red damage to his three red defense. So that gets reduced down to negative one. Mm-hmm. But every time you attack, Amaki does one to him. Mm -hmm. So he takes one. If instead I would have chosen to do the yellow attack, he has no yellow defense that, that equates to one direct damage. Yep. So either way I would have picked it, it's one direct damage. Okay. So. Okay, so that was a free attack. Now we do normal combat. Normal combat, he has two health left. Let's see what he does. Roll the dice. He is He is swinging. Swing. He's swinging with two yellow. I do have one yellow armor. I'm just going to take it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so two to minus one takes one. I take one hit, and then I'm going to attack back, and I'm going to attack with my my iron sword. It doesn't matter what I choose. So I'm going to choose to do a swing. I need a single circle for this one. So roll three dice. I need a circle. Got it. Overachiever. One yellow. That's one more damage. Okay, next round of combat. Here we go. Let's see what he does. Nothing. Perfect. He's not attacking me. Excellent. I'm going to swing. You phased him. Again with my yeah, sword. I need a single circle or yellow damage. Oh, ah! I missed! <laughs> I missed! I mean, I'm sorry. I'm going to push one time. Come on, I've got to do it. Nope. Oh my gosh. Nope. Do I do it again? No. It's just a circle. It's a 50-50 chance. But then I can't attack. I know. That's why I said no. Wait, okay, okay, wait a hot second. Oh wait. Oh wait. Let's do, let's do the next combat round. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Okay, he is hitting me. Again. He is hitting me. Um, I'm just gonna take it. It's only one hit. One hit. Because of your armor. Exactly. And then my last stamina. Come on, Steve. I need just a single circle to do the swing. Here we go. There right. it is, circle. Right. So one you, more damage. You, you got your your dude. But there's no reward on this. Oh, but it's part of your quest. So part something, of my quest. something happens from your old lady. That's right. Now, I will mention that in the event that I don't have any stamina, everyone has this rest ability. So I can choose this as my special action to gain, gain back two stamina and two magic. So everyone can do that. So even if you're out of stamina, you're not out of the game, just means you might take an undefended attack. Or damage, yeah. Or damage, yeah. So now this fully resets, because I'm done with combat, took out those brigands, and then let's see what happens with this device. So clear 372, flip it over. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Darius. You can choose to rest or gain stamina and magicka. Exactly. Success! I gained three experience. All Ooh. right. A lot of experience. I'm up to six. One more, I can level up. I thought you were going to say, I'm doing so much better than you. <laughs> <laughs> you recovered it! Huzzah! All I need is some gra grave dust, and my experiment will be finished. Hurry, the device is unstable. Option one, I can get the grave dust. Option two, I can steal the device. 
Are you a good guy or a bad guy? So, I actually did option two in a previous playthrough. It's pretty fun. But I'm going to do option one because I have not seen what I'm not taking this route before. Okay. So, like I said, this is the cool thing about the game. I've seen this quest, but because it branches, you have a lot of replay. So, I did option two last time. So, I'm going to try this one. So, I gain car two. Unstable device part two. Karen clarifies. Just a few cups of grave dust. You can find it in my old tomb. Oh, an annual tomb. Sorry. Oh, like I mean, her, her old tomb. Is she like a She's dead. a vampire. She's, she's back from the dead. <laughs> okay, so I, I need to go clear one of these ruined spots, which is convenient because maybe we can do that together. It will come okay. from my quest, but we can just get the experience. Well, you just want my help. I want your help because I'm not that strong. Well, you're doing way better than me. That's true. That's true. So I can have three things on that too as well. Okay. Okay, that's enough for my combat. Right. What are you doing? I in landed wilderness. in the wilderness spot. Let's see what card do you get? So you have uh Shemiki. Shemiki. Old veteran. <laughs> Shemiki. We are living in an interesting times. We need to help each other. I can teach you a thing or two about hunting. So you get a resource. What do you want? Um or. Or there you go. Where's your ore? You so do you want to learn a thing or two? You roll three dice and a bonus for your archery. I am not an archer, so I'm trying to learn something from the veteran. From the veteran, yep. You need two circles. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got yes. it. So you're going to gain two experience. Okay, pay up. And then you have the option of removing this card from the game to go on a quest with Sh uh, Shemika, or you can just leave Shemiki. it in the deck. Shemiki. Shemiki. I want my own quest. Okay, so quest 118. There, that card gets removed. Ooh, it says five on it. Shimiki's smile makes me very nervous. She takes a long sip of water before speaking. Bandits are roaming the roads in Winterhold. We must do something. Let's go. So you have to put your marker in a mine in Winterhold. Okay. And it's you have to clear be... three people when you get down there. So basically, yeah. uh, no, it has to be the mine specifically. Where am I looking at? Uh, the cave, sorry. The oh, cave. the cave. I said mine. I meant cave. So, Winterhold is... That's White Run. Oh. Winterhold is up here. So, it's this thing. Yep, right next to me. Exactly. Yep. So, you go there and you have to fight three of these bad guys to do it. Ooh. So, we both have to fight bad guys. We can work on that together if you want. Okay. So, that's both of our turns. Yep. Then we can level up. If anyone can level up, no one can. Okay. So, we do the next, next round. Here we go. Daedric Invasion. Move one Daedra token toward the nearest stronghold. It reaches the stronghold, degrade, and move the token. If no Daedra is on the board, place one in a wilderness space. Okay, so this could be any wilderness space. You can put that on the board. Cool. And we have to add two threats someplace. Your thing has five. Well, but I, we have to do this thing for you, right? No, that's just a gen generic one. Oh. Oh, that's my horse I was going to get. Yeah, I have to go clear any ruin to get some grave dust. Okay, well, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go up here. That's my plan. So give me one of the threat. Will you take one, I take one? Sure. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. So now it's our movement step? Yes. So you want me to do the... Should I do my thing by myself? Can you do the thing by yourself? We can find out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This, this is back over here, though. Yeah. Let me, let me get my horse. Yes? Sure. Windhelm! Maybe I should just show... No, I don't want to do a, a stronghold event yet. Let's just try it. Let's go to any open... One, two, three, four. Let's go to this corner so I'm near you. So at least we can help, help out. So I'll, I'll try my quest on my own. Actually, in that case, let me take both those. Because I'm going to do my thing right away. Okay. All right, here we go. Can I do my horse? You can do your horse. So... You just gain a horse right now. All right, so this gets flipped over. I have five movement. Five movement, yep. And you get card 751, and you remove this card from the game. So that is... S51? So, S51, yep. Okay. The special card. So there's, like, decks of cards you get, and there's also special cards. These are special cards. So, because you got a free horse, guess what else you get? Bounty in East Eastmark. What? <laughs> you just stole a horse. I stole a horse. 
I didn't know it was somebody's worth. <laughs> yep, you stole it. Yep, yep. <laughs> so when entering East March, clear 347 or turn in five money. I can yeah. turn in ten money anywhere and in East March to discard so I could pay out the ban bounty. That's right. Um, so every so my understanding is anytime you end you cross this border, there's this blue border around the on here. Um, anytime you cross that, you will have to either spend five money or clear card three forty seven. Okay. You can probably guess what card three forty seven is. Probably the owner of the horse hunting me down. Probably guards. Or a guard. I want the horse. Bounty. I do. Somebody just wants my head. <laughs> I'm struggling, Steve. <laughs> All right. Well, that was this. Yeah. Okay, so let me do my my quest. I need to clear this by myself. Can't believe you did that. So I wanted the horse. You wanted the horse. So normally there are these dungeon cards which correspond to chapters. When we play free roam, you kind of draw them randomly. But I happen to randomly draw the first one anyway. So it tells me when I do this type of uh, dungeon, I need one undead and one person to fight. So this is a room, basically. You are not going to be able to do that by yourself. I might run away. We'll find out. <laughs> Some other cards might have multiple people in a single room like that. Yeah. Oh, so it's one at a time? One, one at a time. Like this? Okay. Exactly, one at a time. So I'm going to fight... You might be okay. One of these, followed by one of these. If I clear this, I complete my quest. So let's fight this one first. Let's see what it is. It is a flamethrower trap. <laughs> okay, so um, lock picking is a little bit different than the sneak, uh -huh. which means I, if I fail this, it automatically hits me, which is bad. Mm -hmm. But if I succeed at it, I automatically win. Otherwise, I could do normal combat, which means roll the dice, which means if I roll anything but a blank, it's going to burn, burn me. And this simply means everybody. Not just the player going, but everybody would take that damage. But I'm not near you. so Which is good. Okay, I think it's a good thing you're not with me, because okay. we would all take damage from that. So I can get past the flamethrower trap. Does this Imperial Luck do anything for you on this? I haven't got any treasures yet, so no. Okay. Once I get treasure, it will. Okay. So I will take the chance... Do it, do and then the it. thing is, I can't re-roll. I can't push. I have no lock picking skills, so it's just three dice. Okay. Because use my sneak, you use lock picking specifically. And you need two circles. So you can do it. You need two circles with three you dice. You can do it. Unless I take three damage. You can do it. Yeah, this might be kind of bad. We'll see what happens. Here we go. No, you didn't do it. This is bad. <laughs> so three red damage. I have to take it. One, two, three. This is great. You're gonna die. Now I'm gonna die. So now we do combat. Here we go. Roll this die. It is triggering, so it's going to do another three damage to me. Now, the good news is there is this space on here. This is your last stand, final blow spot. This one means anytime you land on that, you won't go past it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's And then next time I take damage, I'll take damage normally. You won't die. I won't die immediately. So there's, there's a chance I could get out of this. Now, this thing only has one physical uh, armor, so it's really easy to take care of to attack it. But I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, do your regular swing. So I'm going to take the damage. And I'm going to do a regular swing. So I'm going to swing um, with my weapon here. And I just need a single circle to do and it. And you couldn't have blocked the fire? Already? I could, but then I can't attack back. Oh, you're right. Because okay. then I'm, if I'm doing that, then I'm waiting for a blank to come up. Because yeah, it hits on everything. Yeah, there all the time. Just dodging yeah. the flames. Exactly. <laughs> but I need a single circle. There it Boom, is. Boom, got it. Okay. So it's one damage. I took it out. And I get the three gold right now. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, since this is a two-room quest or mission thing that you're doing, you aren't going to heal into your next room? That's correct. Oh. That's the downside of that that option. Okay, so <laughs> let's see the next one. I have to clear this to complete the quest, so... <laughs> I'm going to have to come, like, bury you out of this cave thing. Then we get banded archers. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is a... <laughs> mistakes were made. You're okay. So let me let me heal real quick before You're I do okay. anything. You're using what are you? I could have healed heal? at the beginning of combat. So how are you healing? So I'm gonna spend two of my plants to heal one. So I have no more plants. So I heal one. I'm now up above my last hit. Now we do this. This one has ambush. That means it's gonna attack immediately with this skull ability. But if I do do a successful sneak attack and I have to do a successful sneak, I do a free attack on it. Yes, Darius. Thank you so much. He's on top I, of it. He's you're on totally on top of it. 
Yes, I used my potion to heal up a little bit before I get hit. All right, so here we go. So I will try to do a sneak. Here's your I get die. four dice, and I need three circles. You can do it, Steve. I can't re-roll. You have to do it. No pressure. Blah, blah, yeah, blah, it might blah, be. Blah, blah. Oh, all my stamina comes back up, by the way, because okay. in the previous room. Yeah. So, here we go. Three circles. That's nope. not it. So he's going to do his aim shot. Two yellow coming at me. I do have one yellow defense, so I'm taking one. I'm down to my last hit. What are you going to do? So if you run away, do you forfeit the quest? Yeah, I forfeit the quest. An old lady's going to be mad. She's going to be mad. <laughs> I can block. Yeah, because... I have to, as long because, as he keeps missing. Yeah, if he keeps missing, then that's fine. You just had to survive the ambush. And he's got three attack. Yeah, he'll, be, he'll be good. One of the big problems with Follow the Board Game Balance was that you did not heal automatically, so you would waste constant time healing every other action. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. This one, you get free health back. I like, I play Fallout, and this is very similar to that one and how it feels. I like this one a lot better the, for the Fallout board game, to be honest. I also think part of that's the theme, though, too. Oh, you're, well, you're, I do like the theme better. You're way into, I do, yeah. You played the whole Skyrim game. I have, I can easily block. But go for I can't take a single hit, though. No, you can just go for it. Let's I mean, go I for it. I thought he's going to miss at well, some point. Uh, we'll find out. Here we go. Optimism, Steve. <laughs> we'll do a combat. We're not giving up. And, and he doesn't miss. He's, he's, he's gonna kill me, so let me do a block. I'm gonna spend a stamina. I'm gonna try a block. I need One. to. I need a single circle. As I drop my dice, here we go. Oh, all gosh. the circles in the world. <laughs> okay, next combat. All right, come on, miss, miss. No, that's even worse. Bigger of it. Let's block Bigger that one block. again. Come on, Steve. <laughs> Just gotta get in. I blocked it. Okay, okay. next one. He shot me again. Do I just run away? I I, you might quest? have to run away. You got stamina. You're fine. You got a couple, like one more round. Hope for the best. Okay. Here we go. Try to block in your circle. Got, got it. a circle. We're good to go. Next no, combat. He has to miss this, otherwise you do just gotta run. I think so. No. He does not miss. I you forget when you so, run away. You're so disappointed. I am so disappointed. <laughs> Uh, do, 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 do. When do you run away? I forget when you run away. The start? I don't know. Yeah, I think I get. I think I have to block it one more time, and then run away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is it is very much a vastly improved follow up. Exactly, that's a good way to explain it. Um, I, I like this a lot. I asked other people too what they thought of it, and they compared it to Fallout as well, and they like it better. So I'm, um, it seems pretty common. So let's go ahead and roll the block. I blocked Block it. it. Now I'm gonna run away. Okay, so running away is horrible, but it has to happen. All you need to do is I need to put a threat marker someplace. Um, doesn't matter where it goes. Actually, let me make sure. Does it have to be on a city? Now that I think about it. I forget. I forget. I forget. I forget. Darius. <laughs> Darius, are you here? Yeah. No. Um, you don't run away too often in the game, fortunately. And in combat, thirty seconds. Escaping combat. There you go. Thirty-five. Let me look up real fast here. At the beginning of the turn, yes. Before only to die, I take no further point add to any card that can accept it. Yep. So just like normal, you just add one. So can you put it on this card anyway? I'll put on this card because I'm gonna fail it anyway. Exactly. Okay. All right. Well, this guy's just gonna go away. Yep. I don't get any of the rewards for that guy. Um, and before we do that, let me explain what happens with these cards. So I will take these cards, and then I will take the next card in the deck. I'll shuffle them up, and I'll put them back on top. The decks are ordered from like easier characters to harder ones. Oh, okay. So there's a chance you might see the same thing, but there's a chance you might not. So, and then we'll do uh, what happens. With this one so i failed let's flip this over failure i'm too late the vice has exploded <laughs> degrade winterhold did she just die <laughs> degrade winterhold add a threat and remove this card they didn't run away in any of the playthroughs i saw but i think it was an added add a threat and draw an event card Ooh, and draw an event or just oh you just read it oh I didn't, no so if you die you would actually draw an event card and complete that entire event. So 
if you die, you add a lot more threat, and then another the event immediately happens. So it's okay. actually it's a lot worse. Um, this one isn't great though because I do still have to degrade Winterhold. Yeah, so I have to put two threat on the board anyway, and this part out of the game. All right, so Winterhold is up here. It's gonna get one of these, and then we have to put another token someplace. Falkreath, I guess. I'm going Falkreath. Oh, wait, you can take it. Oh yeah, I'll take it. You can take I'm, it. I'm gonna go up yeah, there yeah. next turn. There we go. So we're showing you how you fail in the game and succeed. <laughs> so so we're everything. That's right. <laughs> okay, next round. Event. Oh wait, I reset my board. I reset my board before before I forget. Event card. Here we go. I need one more experience too. <laughs> All right. Victims of the infection. Those who fall victim to sang uh, sanguinaire vampiris have no choice but to search for instant lives to feed on the strongholds of Skyrim. Move all vampire tokens toward the nearest stronghold. If any of them reach the stronghold, degrade it. If there are no on the board, we place two on any empty spaces. Great. This is not a vampire, so... The other thing about these tokens is they are double-sided. There's different numbers on each side. So I put my hand, I shuffle them up, and then I we place them down. So you do get some variety in how these come out. You put them anywhere? Anywhere. Together? Uh, if you want to, you could. I would probably not recommend it. Okay, well, I'm going to go here next turn. Um, and it's got something to do with bandits. So maybe you put them... They're right next to the city? Sure. That's good oh, idea. no, that's a bad idea. Is this, is this better? It can be any spot. There and... Where? There. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, now we can take our turn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go here. You want Oop. me to help you? Sure. Okay. You're gonna go there? Yep. Oh, did you get two threat from drawing the card? I don't think we did. No. You want the two threat? Yeah, I'll take the two. Okay. And what type of... Um, is this a mine? This is uh... Oh, three people. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's three of these cards. So you, so you yeah, it says three clear, clear yeah. three bandit cards. All right, there we go. I'll help you out with your request. Thank you. <laughs> so these are one at a time, I believe. It says, uh, yeah, it just says clear three cards. I assume it's one at a time. That's a good question. I don't really know. Well, we'll assume they're one at a time. Okay. All right. So first card is going to be a bandit archer sneak and ambush. You should sneak. Yeah, I can sneak. And we need three circles for that. We don't have any sneaky characters, unfortunately. There you go. Okay, so I roll four dice. And hopefully we can sneak past this guy. Oh, so what? they're not three at a time? That we would uh, die immediately. Right? I don't really know. Clear three bandits? I don't really know if it's clear three bandits it's a question at one time. Or... All right, we'll just do it this way for now. Yeah, I'm not sure. Unless anyone corrects us. Be like, no, they're mobbing you. I mean, we could do them all at the same time if you wanted. Wouldn't we die? No, so how it works is you roll the die, and you look at the far left one, and you, if it triggers, you do its effect. Otherwise, you keep moving down until you trigger the effect. So oh, well then, yeah. Only then, one fights at a time anyway. Oh, then it is all three. That's we'll how all three? I, that's how I would interpret that. Okay. We'll do okay. All three. So that's Bandit Archer. There's Bear Trap. Bear Trap. The traps always go first. Okay. And then a Berserker. Yep. The trap always goes first. So you want me to try to do the trap? Lock picking, yeah. Actually, anyone can do that. And these have ambushes, but I believe because we do the lock picking first, we ignore the ambushes on those cards. I'll do the bear trap because I have three armor. Does that help me? Yes, it would. Yeah, go ahead. You can do that. Do it. Okay. So you roll. You, so you're taking the first action. Yep. So I need two. Two circles. Circles. You can't re-roll this. <laughs> no. That's not no. it. So trap is going to hit you for three red. Actually, yeah. it would do it would do the worst scenario. So it'd be three yellow. Well, then why? Do you want me to? It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it happened. There you go. Okay. My armor was then worthless. Yeah. It's usually the worst worst result okay. for enemies. So now it's now we have to do the do normal combat. Here we go. So of course it's going to trigger. Um, I will just take it on the chin. 
Okay. This is horrible. We're not going to survive this. No, we're not. <laughs> that's, that's... Are you, you have to succeed on the taking the bear trap out. I do. Yes. So I will do a... What can I do on this? It's got... Oh, it's on the one head. So yeah, yeah. I can do my iron sword ability, which I just need a single circle for that. Come on, Steve. Go. Got okay. it. Okay. It's superior. So it's gone. You get one money. Uh... Yes, one person gets one money for this one. You want the money? Yeah, I gotta pay off some bandits and try to hunt okay, me you down. You can take money this time. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so that card's gone. Now we do the next round of combat. So you're up. Actually, someone could be up. You want me to go or you want you to go? I'll go. You go? Okay. So oh, Wait, but this is sneaky. You should sneak. No, we can't do sneak anymore. Oh, sneak no. Sneak is only done. once. Okay, so ever. he. I just roll for him? Yes. Roll for both of them. And something's wrong. Give another die. No. Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> There's literally only one of those dice in the game. <laughs> Sorry. I swear. I could have a tray on the board and she well, makes the tray you know anyway. what? I talk about all the dice trays I make. I just don't use them. Yeah. Yeah. I really right. should. They're Roll. nice. Okay. Here we go. Nothing. Nothing. Both on nothing. Oh, both missed. Yes. Okay. So, so I can't attack. attack. I am... He's got three. Um, if I chop, I could kill him. You think I'm gonna do it? It'd be good to take him out. All right, sure. I'm doing the chop. I need a diamond, though. Yeah. Yes. Got the diamond. Bandit Archer is dead because he's got three. Wait, no, he's got one hit. I only hurt him once. You... That's correct. Still. Okay. Actually, no. You would. You wouldn't want to do that. You want to use your yellow swing. My yellow Actually, swing. Actually, doesn't matter. Two damage regardless. Why is it two damage? Actually, no, it's not. It's you, one damage. It's one damage. I didn't get... I, I called the trap. It's only one damage. Math! <laughs> you got too excited. I did get too excited. So how it works is it's four damage. It blocks three of it, so only one goes through. Mm -hmm. If you did your swing, it would have been two yellow, which would have been two straight damage. That's fine. I just wanted to trap him. That was a really bad decision, because I could take him out then. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, forgot, right. I forgot he had armor. I thought that was just life. Roll, roll the red die, please, for me. Uh, no, it's you. You roll it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Roll the die. Oh, Nothing blank. Good. Nothing. So I get a free attack. Um, I'm going to... So do you have to hit this guy, or can you choose to hit this other guy? Oh, I didn't spend my stamina last time. Oh, and neither did I. No, I have to hit the first guy. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do my normal swing. It's only one yellow. Unfortunately. There we go. Roll the dice. I need a single circle. Got my circle. That's one damage done. Okay. Should, should I be down another one? Stamina? No. You just the first thing you did. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're good. Okay, bad guy. You're up. You blink. Oh, no, yes. blink! Woo! Yes. Okay, okay. I'm going lucky. to do my swing attack. Okay. Yeah, the warrior's easy to hit because he only has one life, so... Well, I need two circles for this swing attack. Okay. You missed. Pushing. I have a I have a plan. No. What? It's uh whatever you used to trigger the resource. So it was a green, right? Oh, right. Another, another green. So that was one to attack, and then yep. to, okay, right. Yep. So I just need one more circle. Yep, one more circle. There yes. you go, guys. All right, he's dead. Good job. Um, so everyone's gonna get one experience. One experience. And then I want three money because I gotta pay people. Okay. Now I have seven experience. I can't gain any more. Because I'm at the max experience. Okay, can I have three money? Uh, you want the money? Yes. <laughs> like, pay me, Steve. Give me all your money. All the money. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, now the last guy. And it's my actually. Yeah, it's my turn. Here we go. Let's see what he does. Come on, you need another blank. Nope, a skull. So he's gonna do one red or one yellow. It's one damage either way. Okay. So I'm just gonna take it. Take it on the chin. So I'm at my final stand mode again. Um, let's see. He has... Oh, this is not red. This is yellow. Oh. Wrong, wrong, wrong cube. So he's got four yellow armor. I'm going to do my... You can one-shot this guy, actually. If I successfully roll... Yeah, so I've got some options here. This is, a, this is interesting. So I could do a slash, which is... Uh, I need a single triangle for two damage. 
do that. But if you do the other one, if it's easy to hit, it's one damage. It's almost automatic. Yeah. See, if you both have, you have both one red and one yellow armor, so it would impact your stamina rather than your health. Oh, thank you! I forgot to mention that. That's correct. Thank you so much for that. So, I forgot, because I do have one red armor right here, and one yellow armor. So, I actually block it all. Instead, because it's just one damage, one minus one is zero. Mm -hmm. So, instead I take a stamina. I get, I get a little tired from it hitting me, so my stamina gets dropped down by one. Perfect. Which is great. You should slash him. Slash? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll spend one more stamina to do a slash. I need a single triangle to do this. Here we go. Got Boom! It. Got it. And now he's down so to two. two. Yep, he's down to two. Okay, Cam, it's your, your turn. Okay. Nothing. An axe? An axe. Which is nothing, yeah. Okay, missed. I'm going to use my swing. I need two circles. Oops. Oh, I wish that counted. <laughs> okay. Two circles. Yes! Ooh, we got it! Got it. He is dead. Two damage. Took him out. All right. All one, experience one experience and three money. You want the money again? I do. Okay. I'm greedy. Well, you can flip those over to a five. Okay. The nice thing is, also, when we complete a dungeon, we do get loot. Because the highest level character was a zero, we get a B loot. There's an A, B... Sorry, there's A loot, which is great. B loot, which is not so good. And there's dragon loot as well. So I'm going to choose to lose a health. Uh, lose a health, which I can't afford. Because I'm going to heal with both anyway. To draw two and pick one. So we have a choice of taking um, leather armor or stone flesh, which is a spell. This one's a shield spell. It lets you block. I think you should take one of those. I mean, I have robes, so I'll take the leather armor for sure. Yeah. You okay with that? Yes. Okay, so this one will just get discarded. And I'll take the leather armor and replace my ragged robes with that. Just way better. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, we successfully did this. Yes. So what does that mean for you? Success. The leader falls dead. I have some cuts and bruises, but overall, I'm fine. It's a job well done. I gained three experience. Nice. That's right. Okay. Um, you want to put that on the screen so people can see what's going on? Yeah, because there's more text to it. Okay, so you did that. Three experience. The moment I walk out of the cave, I see three women staring at me. One of them is Shamiki. Hail to you, Thane of Winterhold. They give me a note and leave. The Jarl of Winterhold wants to see me. So you have an option right now. Don't know what to believe? I can't refuse the call of the Jarl. Or option two, I and only I control my destiny. I burn the note and forget this ever happened. I'm going to go heed the call. Okay. 119. 119. That'll be like my doom. Ring, ring, Steve. Destiny's calling. <laughs> and here's your new one. Prophecy, part two. So you have to go to Winterhold. Okay. It's not in East, East Marsh, so I'm okay. Yeah, which is actually right next to you. Good. So you can put that nearby. It just goes architect if you want. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that was our actions. Now we can do level up. Um, I have no experience to level up. So do I. Because I have eight. So how does that work? Wait a second. What is this? What's oh, my previous card? Okay, sorry, I got confused. Uh, yeah, so we get to level up. So you spend uh seven. You don't you, you don't have eight. You only have seven. Oh. So you spend all your experience. Just take that thunder. <laughs> you know, and then we get to choose one of these tracks to increase. Um, I'm oh, gonna I choose to get my stamina up. I think. I also want more stamina. So. The so cool thing about this is. With it. Yep. Now that our highest track is under the zero space, anytime we fight any level zero enemies in the dungeon, they will get removed from the game. Oh. So, so you could deplete the whole deck, kind of? You can go through the deck. Well, you can only get up to level fours get removed. Oh, okay. So there's always going to be enemies in there, but that's how the, the enemies uh, level up with you, which is really cool. And then we also choose a skill. And it covers up our seventh spot. So we could choose 
<laughs> Here, I'll, I'll give you the vote case. I know you're not as familiar with the video game. But you can choose one of those skills you have as well. But there's a huge, like in normal Skyrim fashion, huge amount of might, shadow, and sorcery skills. And they normally just give you dice, but someone I want a two-handed skill. Two-handed skill. Because cool. it goes with my Nord character, and I have a two-handed weapon. So I'm going to add a damage to my attack. Yep, so this will give you a plus one die every time you do two-handed attack. Yes. I am going to do... I'm going to just do block, honestly. So block, so I get an extra die for my blocking rolls. And I believe this gives me a red and yellow armor on top of that. Also, because I have the block ability, I do get one red on top of that as well. Let me double check that, I forget. Because that one is special. Yeah, with a shield equip, I gain one red defense and one yellow defense. Hmm. Yep, exactly. So, meat shield. Heat shield, yeah. I'm all <laughs> blocking here. It appears that Kim's character's board is incorrect as she has several ability end caps at one and one at two. Let me check. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, you I, set your board up wrong. I have been cheating. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is incorrect. It should have been all at zeros. Thank you, Darius, for catching that. <laughs> Fine. Whoopsies. Yeah. Hopefully that didn't ruin the whole play. No, I mean, I would have been like, uh, well, there was one time I did bottom out. Yeah. It's okay. We play for fun. Oops. <laughs> Thank you, though. Good catch. Good catch. Yes. yes. I didn't check your board before we started. My bad. Go, Steve. <laughs> okay, so that is it for leveling up. And now we go on to the next round. Event card. Event card. Here we go. Conspiracy. There are forces working against you. Place a threat on every quest right now. And then this gets removed. Which is only one, I think, right? And mine? That's the only quest on the board. Yeah. Hey, Ryan. Welcome. Hi. Fun fact, Ryan. The job. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. What do you want to do? Well, I don't have any quests, so I'm going to oh, go pick one up. I'm going to Winterhold. So you can go to Winterhold to your quest. Um. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go do a random quest. I have, I have to go help people in Winterhold. Am I reading this right? I need to get two diamonds. Yes. So you have to go there, roll stamina test plus any of these other things you might have, which you have none of. None of. You need two diamonds to do it, and you can't push it. So my stamina is one. No, your stamina is how many? What's your max on there? I forget. Yeah, yes, we got it. Yes, I did get it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you it? I forget the skill test. You roll as many dice as your maximum skill. So how many is your maximum stamina? It's well. Is it this number one? Or no, no, is no. It it's one, how many two, spaces? Three, four, five, six. Roll six dice. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got that. Six dice. Yep. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. Um, I am going to let's head to a wilderness space. Let's yeah. go down. Let's go down here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You want to be here? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Okay. That's when... not you. Yeah, the other other person. And I'm moving here. Okay. You want to do yours first? Yes. Okay, let's show everyone what you've got so people can follow along. I'm helping the people of Winterhold. The Jarl of Winterhold addresses me. Thank you for freeing the hold from the from those bandits. There's room in my court for a new thane. Prove to me that you are a friend of Winterhold and the title is yours. You can become a thane? That's awesome. Yes. So you roll your stamina, you have no other abilities. So Promotions just, all around. Just uh, six, right? Six, yeah. You need two diamonds, you can't push this. So one and done. Man. I really hope you get this, because if you become a thing, that'd be awesome. Two diamonds. So one in six pants. But you got six dice. It's like you're rolling two ones, or two sixes, or whatever. You get stressed out. <laughs> Yes! Oh, you got it! One, two! Ah. There you go! <laughs> I am now Thane. Well, let's see what it says. I don't know. We'll find I don't out. Know. Give me the trick. I just want to. Oh, don't say that. 
Success. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll answer your question in a second here, Howard. Um, success! The title of Thane is yours! It's an honorary title, mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. Gain three experience. And special card 47. Aha! Oh, I have the experience tokens over here. Yeah, you take them. 47. Oh, that's not 47. 47 should be this card here. Here it is. Okay, you have the title Thane of Winterhold. Upgraded prices in Winterhold are one um, one mine cheap, one uh, or cheaper. Turn in three money to restore Winterhold. Oh. So oh, it's cheaper to get rid of the threat there? Yeah, that's really cool. That's really nice. So now you have right. the Thane ability. Cool. So I'm in Winterhold. Let's keep, let's keep reading though. Oh, okay. I'm leaving Winterhold when the three women again appear in front of me. Hail to you, Thane of the Pale! As before, they give you they give me a note and leave. I'm wary of the content. The Jarl of the Pale is asking for me. You got a choice here. The first time they were right, why not this time? My destiny awaits are two. I on, only I control my destiny. I burn the note and forget this ever happened. Do I just call it good at being Thane, or do I dig deeper? Good call. I don't know. What do you guys keep going down this rabbit hole? I feel like it's a trap. So I'll answer how it's questions while you let people on the chat think yeah. about it. Um, how large is the setup for this game table-wise? It is quite large, honestly. I, I struggle getting this on camera. It is not a lot of stuff outside the board. It's just that the board is massive. Um, it is not... I kind of disagree. So you have cards around the entire except for on the far side of the board there are cards around the entire board that's correct so it's like making the board it's not it's not like it's not like the biggest game ever but it is a big game for sure it's a large board it's, it's but, a large it's board. like two by four i'm not sure how big it is exactly but it is it is big i if you're like it's not coffee table yeah it is because mm. you have all these boards in front of us too i don't know well, this table is three by five. Small coffee table. Yeah, this is a three by five table. So it, it can fit on this table. It's not like, I don't think the average person is going to have difficulty putting it on their table. But if you have a particularly small table, you will you will struggle a bit for this one. Yeah. Um, no, it fits fine on the three by five table. But we also got like the monitor and cameras. And we got other stuff on the crap on this table. So. We do. We yeah. Do. Yeah. So, but the, the map itself is huge. But it is a beautiful map. It is really gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. All right. So what did you choose? Um... Give me the give me the give me the quest. Oh, you take it. I'm gonna uh, I, I do. Okay, one twenty. Someone bail me out. Tell me, don't do it, Kim. Okay, I mean you can take the quest and just let this fail too if you want to. Oh, if I don't like what it sounds. How the prophecy happen? part three. So you put a thing on the dwemer in the pale. Where's the pale? Pale is one of the regions. Oh, here. Find it. There you go. So what are, where am I putting it on? On the yellow space. The yellow space. In the pail, yep. which is this one? Yep, or the other one. There's two of them. I'm going to go over here. It's closer. Okay. Okay. Okay, what does it say? So you have to clear three three enemies from that spot. I'm going to need you again. Okay, I can help. Okay. Okay. Now, um, you yes. need a winter card. Or I need forest, a wilderness card. Wilderness card. Yep, see where I get Zibam, caravan trader. I've traveled all across the land, seen many things. Care to share some stories and mead? Gain a resource. Um, I'm gonna gain get a plant. Ore. Oh, another ore? Well, because you have this ore is enough to level up this stuff. Yeah, you can get a plant. Yeah. Well, I could improve my armor. That's the other thing. That was my first thought. Well, I think weapon would be better though, honestly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I will. Actually, yeah, I'll take one ore. Because I would improve my weapon. I don't have I don't have any healing though, which is the little dangerous part, but that's fine. Okay. Campfire stories. If I have speech, I roll an extra die, but right now I only need to roll three. I need two circles to do it. And to push. Oh, and you spend experience. That's cool. Mm. I have no experience. <laughs> Alright, so here. I need two circles with this die. I am not good at this. Okay, so I can get rid of this to go on the caravan trader one, which I think it will. Okay. 
Or I can just ignore it and keep going. But I'll, I'll remove it and get well, I, side for seven. I can pull this off. Um, I'm going to need you to come meet me somewhere. So here's the side quest. Moon Sugar Rising Part 1. I got need to go to Windhelm. So Windhelm. It's over here. Yep. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Okay. That's that everything. is it. Now we do but, next next wait, round. Yes. I'm in a city. Can I do city stuff? You can. Would you like to do that right I now? I do want to do city stuff. Okay. What can I do in Winterhold? Yep. So when you go to the market. It's unstable. So what does that mean again? Oh, you can't go to the market. What if it weren't unstable? If it weren't unstable. Here's also if you do a visit the market. Um, you can select one of the available decks. In this case, so it's one of the might uh sneaky or magic decks and you draw one card you pay one money you draw a card a single card from that deck you can um spend additional money to draw extra cards mm -hmm. and then you can buy one item you use to reveal and the cards in that deck range from cost like six to eight so you haven't don't have nearly as much money i to don't do have that. enough money yeah um you can also buy components you can buy ore and and plants and everything that cost five each mm -hmm. Um, unless it says otherwise, so some of them say differently. Like the Winterhold, yeah, Winterhold actually says that they cost plants cost four and soul gems cost four and ore cost seven, and you can only buy from blue deck when you're there, which makes sense because it's like that's where the uh, the college of the 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 college is where the magician or magic sorcery? Goes, sorcery go. Okay, yeah. but right now it doesn't matter because it's rain, it's closed because of that. So you could spend five money to and unclose it. it. Correct. I might do that so it doesn't get too crazy. Then you can also upgrade as well while you're there. So you would spend uh, the cost of upgrading is it varies based upon the equipment. For example, let's look at this sword down here in the corner. It says if I spend two soul gems or two ore, I can upgrade it, which means I draw one one card and I get to attach it to to this. Um, if I spend additional ore, I can draw more than, more cards and pick from, from one of those. So if I would spend three ore, I would draw two cards. Okay. Pick one of them. Okay. Well, I don't have enough to upgrade. I think I'll just, sp I have the money. I'll spend five. Well, no, I'm saving my money so I can pay off the guys that are trying to take my head off. Yeah, you might just leave it. Honestly. I might just leave it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything in Winter Hold. Okay. Next event. Here we go. We'll play for a little bit more here, and then we'll probably call it. Okay. Oblivion beckons. Daedric monstrosities roam the land in search of the way back home. Move all Daedra towards a near stronghold. We yeah, have this one. Yep. Is that the only one? I think it's the only one. Is this a stronghold? That's a stronghold, yep. So that's three. One, two, three. That's two away. One away. One. It's going to go right here. Your stuff's in the way. Okay. Um, and we have two threat. Um, I have... Here, I'll put two on yours, because I don't know if you're going to do yours. I'm heading to mine now. Oh, you're going to do it? Well, then put it on there for sure. Yes. But you are too. Oh, are you telling me what's happening? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that how this works. Because I have to clear three, um, I don't know what, boogeymen? I don't know what that is. Yeah, heck. it's going to be tough. I can come help you. You yeah. might lose, but we can come help you. Well, now, I would like to ask, before we end this play, I want to make sure we do an upgrade at some point. Okay. So I would like, because I've got the ore, I want to go to a city after this to upgrade. Okay. But I can help you for yours right now. If you want to if, do that. No, you should go upgrade first. Why? You're not going to do yours right away? You can do something at random? You can do something random. I might do something random. Okay. Oh, I only need to turn in three money to Winterhold to um, restore it. Because, oh, you should. again, I am the Thane of Winterhold. Yeah, do you, actually, you want to do that before a last turn? Yeah. So, I need one more coin token. Here you go. Next one. Okay, so when okay, the winter hold is I forgot restored. I was the thing. Okay, that's a nice ability. Yeah, that was last turn. Okay, so um, this turn I'm gonna go to Dawn Star. Yes, I'm going down Dawn Star. It's open. So okay, I'll meet you there. Okay. <laughs> Just because you feel like it. Yeah, we're working our way over okay. to my quest. All right, now we do our action. So we have no quest there. So we're each gonna draw a stronghold card. Now we could go to the market first before or after this ability if we wanted. 
Um, let's do our cards first, and then we'll do the market afterwards. So my card is... I have Alien Grieving Bride. My fiancé, he's missing. I fear he's in trouble. Help me. Gain a resource. Do you want to upgrade? I would love to upgrade stuff. You have no... I'll get, I'll get ore so I can give it to you. Oh, you can trade these? You can trade these in the same spot. Yep. Oh, okay. Clairvoyance. So let's see if we can do this. I need to roll three dice. I have no illusion. I need two circles to do this. You got it. There you go. Come on, Steve. See if I can help her fiance. Nope. Nope, you failed. I have no soul gem, so I can't do this at all. Womp womp. I can get rid of this to do this quest. I'm not gonna worry about that. That's for the bottom of the deck. Okay, there's my card. Okay, you have Joba Quanar, the Shadow Instructor. Did you feel that? Of course you didn't. Here, have your septums back. Be more careful next time. He just stole from you. <laughs> what do you want for a resource? Um, I want, I feel like the battle coming up. Give me an ore. An ore. Yeah, because okay. they're going to upgrade my stuff. Okay. And it says, shadow training, leveling up. By adding a shadow skill, turn in money instead of experience. So, what that means, if right now, the next level is going to be eight. If you had eight money. Which I used to. You used to. You could no, actually level three. it up. No, I had seven. With a shadow skill specifically. Now, you can draw a card 54 if you want. No, I already got this thing going on. Yeah. So that goes up on the deck. So that... Okay, but we're in the market. Now we're in the market, yep. So the market in Dawnstar. What was the event card that we drew? Uh, The Daedra moved. Oh, yeah. Um, in Dawnstar, we can buy red, blue, or or is only three to buy. And it's expensive to buy the other stuff. But I think we're just going to upgrade. Yeah, I want to upgrade my axe. You want to so, upgrade first? Yes. Okay. Um, so let's show what so you got. I have two ore. You only have two? Yeah. I'm going to give you one more. Okay. So you have three. So this way... So what she... does the crafting thing mean next to that? And then the two are for two. So there is a deck we started with. Um, it's actually in the back of this card. Uh, this deck here. It means that any city you go to, you can actually create this item for two ore. Oh, okay. So all those items you pick from be in the beginning of the game, um, these this whole deck, you can build anything you want. Okay. You can create it, which is pretty awesome. Like, I can get a better healing potion, which is tempting. So I gave you one ore, so that way you can draw two and pick one. Okay. So how this works is there's a huge deck of these cards, and you can draw two of these, and you get to pick which abilities you want. So how it works is on weapons, you look at the right side of the card. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these and you're going to choose one to put underneath it. It's going to line up like that, for example. So now, every time you do a swing, it does plus one damage. Oh. Or, but since you drew two, you can choose this card instead, which will give the plus two damage for that one. Ooh. So you have a choice. What do you prefer, plus one on top or plus two on the bottom? And you can only upgrade once for each item. The other thing is, if you were enchanting, you would choose the top ability. And if you were an armor, you would choose the bottom effect for armor. You would get an additional armor. But right now, this is a weapon, so it's this side. That effect. is tempting, but I think I want to make my basic attack better. Because you're not rolling the diamonds enough. But right. you now roll more dice. You roll four dice now. I would do roll four dice now. You would do the plus two? Super big attack? Yes. <laughs> ah, I knew it. I knew it. There you go. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to do my sword, my iron sword to upgrade. So two, I've got, I'm going to spend an additional one. I'm going to spend three ore to do this. So I can draw two cards and pick one. And enchanting works the exact same way. You just choose a different ability. So for my sword, I get these options. Ooh. Um, ooh, double plus ones. Get, get that one. Yeah, definitely. Plus one, plus one? Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Okay. We upgrade our weapons. And that's basically it. Okay. okay. So event card, and then we'll go do this thingy. And then call it? Yeah. Okay. We'll do one more, we'll do one more round, and we'll call it. Okay. Because the nice thing about this, you can stop anytime you want. You throw things in the box. It's really, really easy. Um... And we can keep playing forever, which is really cool. All right. Do the event.
Okay, the event card. Here we go. Comings and goings. This is an active event. Change is not that welcome in Skyrim. When removing any remote roaming monster tokens, immediately place a new token of the same type on any space on the board. Oh. So if we kill a roaming monster this turn, it's not going to be great. So it doesn't really go away. Okay. Two threat. I'll take it. Sure. On this side quest. Okay. All right. Okay, so then we move. I am moving. I'm going to my quest. I come with you, apparently. You are coming. I'm not really giving you a choice. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Thane. <laughs> yes, I am the Thane. <laughs> yeah, what do we have to fight? Uh, three... Um, Circle dudes? What are those? Yeah, three of these. Got they got some major mustaches going on or something. All right, here we go. We got to fight a dwarven spider. Sneak to ambush. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds horrible. We have to fight a trap. I knew the trap was coming up. A little poison gas. Ooh, look at that. It hits everyone. Great. And the last one we have to fight is a Dwarven Spider Worker. So because the ambushes don't matter because we got to do the trap first. Okay. We have a lot of magic and light armor resistances. Okay. So. Do you, do you have any lock picking? No. No. No one has a lock picking. Okay. So the trap just happens? Well, we can try to do a lockpick here real quick. Okay. It's two circles. Somebody's rolling through dice, hopefully yeah. two circles. Yeah. Can't push it. Yeah. You can try it? Yeah. If... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. Yeah. No! No! <laughs> so everyone's taking one damage. Okay. And it's one of the worst damage. Yeah, because it's all, it's every symbol. So we're all both taking one damage. We can't reduce okay. it. Okay. So that was my tap? Yep, so now it's I'm up. So okay. I'm gonna do it. So go roll a die for me. Blank. Nothing. Excellent. Wow, nothing activates at all. Okay, so I just gotta take it out. I'm gonna spend a stamina to do my my swing. So I get two yellow for this and I need just one circle. Okay, here we go. One circle. Come on, one circle. Got it. Okay, so that's, the that's... poison gas trap, you got four money for that. Someone does. You can. Do you need it. it? No, you go ahead. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll always take it. I know. Okay, so that's gone. And the nice thing is, it is a zero, so this is going to be removed from the game. Okay. Because we're at level, or at level zero now. Now I am. Max. Yeah. Now you are. All right. Take uh, your four money before you forget. I did. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, next combat round. Roll the die. Fire, which triggers this one. Yep, so four magic to you and one magic damage. What does that mean? So you're, you don't have any magic armor, so you're taking four damage. So that's this, what's this other thing? You take magic damage. Sorry. Maybe battle cry. Do my battle cry. Battle cry. In combat, lose a health to use an offensive action without being attacked. Yes, I'm doing that. Okay. So one health. Yep. And I'm Not gonna... kill the puny spider, you got another thing coming. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so you need right. battle cry, so you don't have to worry about the attack. Yes, I'm going to roll my chop. You gotta spend your stamina. You're not gonna do the massive kill? It's my chop, it's my massive kill. Okay, cool. Cool. But I need a diamond. Okay? You need a diamond. Four Six dice. dice. Six dice. Five dice. Four dice. Four dice. Math. Four dice. Just counting. <laughs> I'm just throwing numbers out there apparently. <laughs> Twenty seven. Come on, diamond. Yes! And she killed the I card anyway. I <laughs> took him out. So that's six hits and she was at three, four. So it's all red, so it can't all stop red. it all. You got it all? All. Totally dead. Three, four. Yeah, that's everything. Totally dead. Wow. I get two experience, two ore, and one money. No. My two Try again. experience. One person gets that stuff. Oh, remember. right. I'm trying to steal my stuff. Do you want the ore or do you want the money? Give me the money. So right, one person picks this, one the other person. Picks I the got other. the, I got it. You got the money. Yeah. So I get the two ore. Okay. Okay, spiders done. Out of the game too. Okay, it's your Push. turn. <laughs> <laughs> this has happened before uh, the dragonborn comes, like in the setting. So yeah. Okay, now it's is, my it be your, turn. Your go. Yeah. Lightning bolt. Shock. So it's going to do three magic damage and everything. You know what? I'm going to block it. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna block it. Here we go. I need just a circle. No, that's a battle cry. <laughs> Got it. Blocked it all. Okay, you're okay, up. I'm up. Skull. Skull uh, always hits. Shock me. I will. You want to block it? You don't have to. You can take it if you want. I'm gonna take it. You can take it because you want to do your massive kill. Yes. Okay. Four dice. You do take magic damage. Don't forget. Oh yeah. There you go. That's fine. Okay. The Dragonborn, which is you, and the school is the Thane of Winterhold. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The Thane. That is what you're going to have to call me from now on. Okay. The Thane of Winterhold. Okay. <laughs> I won't answer to you any, to anything else in this house. Okay. <laughs> All right. I need another diamond. Yes! Got it. You got it. The Thane of Winterhold. <laughs> <laughs> totally killed it. One shot it. That was awesome. Two more experience to everyone. And and someone gets an ore, or someone gets a money. The money. What do you want? Give me the money. Okay. Money, money, money. Okay, that's also out of the game. So that completed your clearing of that card. What happened? Oh, I gave it to. No, I put here. it here. Here, we'll pull it up there. Success. I retrieved the artifact the Jarl has asked me about. Time to claim my title. In the back of my mind, it still seems all too easy. Three experience and special card 48. Not only you get an experience for this, this is your quest. Okay. Special card 48. I am maxed out on my experience. Okay, so you get Thane of the Pale. Upgrade prices in Dawnstar are cheaper and you can restore it. There you go. You're just, know, just Thane everywhere. Thane of the Pale. I like Thane of Winterhold better. <laughs> Aha. Have a good day at work, you know, we're to hold. Don't forget your lunch. Nice. <laughs> Bow to me, peasant. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, I am now the Thane of Winterhold and the Pale. The three women are waiting for me outside the White Hall. I'm not surprised anymore. I want more. Hail to you, Jarl of the Rift. They give me a note, but this time it's not from the Jarl. Someone wants me to meet them in the Rift. I want to go there, but now I feel like it's even more of a trap. Yeah, do you want to, you want option one, option two? Give me the card. One twenty one. Mm hmm. Some one of these is gonna be like you are now demoted. <laughs> so now you have to go to the woodland, woodland space in the rift. You have to clear some more stuff and a special card. Okay, that's your new quest. Okay. Okay, but I think we're going to end it, right? Yep. Yep, that is... That is Skyrim. That's Skyrim. Pause, save game, come back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, so this game, we keep playing. Um, do, we did see the, the market cards up there. There's a lot of good stuff in that deck. Um, we didn't see the better uh, weapon stuff. As you do, there's more treasure decks. There's dragons, of course, that come out. You can fight. But I think you get the I think you get the gist of how this game works, at least. Yeah. From watching this playthrough. If you guys have any questions, how any more details. I have a question. Yeah, what's your question? So we did free roam. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we could like you're saying, just inevitably keep going or yep. okay. Yep, you keep yeah. going. Because the cool thing about it is as you fill up this board, you fill it up with uh, maximum eight uh, eight skills. And then if you get 50 experience, you can then get to legendary mode. So you actually flip these over into another state. So now you get extra dice and extra abilities. Hmm. So you can get to legendary mode. So you can level up to so 16 times wow. in the game. So you can potentially get up to that legendary status as you play through it. Now the campaign has an overall thing happening at all times um, and a story going on with it. But we don't have it in, in free roam. So... Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I think that was successful. I have a new title. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I got to deal with this all night now. So, <laughs> so um, let's go quick to the chat real fast. But yeah, so that was, that was Skyrim uh, from Modiphius. This is just the core game. Um, there's more and there. There's some really high level enemies in the deck too to go after. Lots of loot and stuff to get to. But um, as you can tell, like, 
This is your first time really playing it. Really playing. I mean, we did the TTS yep. when they first like was starting it. Right. That maybe it was just because it was TTS for me. You know, it didn't really hit the right chords for me. But right. this is, and then when we played with our son, he just it didn't work very well for him at that point. So it was not a great first experience. But this was way better. And Ryan, thank you for your comment because yeah, we could have easily died um, way earlier in this game. But yeah, it did turn around. So no, I had fun, and I I would keep going because I do like character building and mm -hmm. you know leveling up. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want to see how many titles I could actually. <laughs> so that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, when I play with my son, he just want to go to the dungeons and beat the monsters. Mm -hmm. And like for you, you wanted some goal. Yeah, and that's what I was telling you because he's like, let's do free free roam, and I'm like, I I need an objective. Yeah. But this does provide that to you right. in, in these quest cards. So that Correct. works out. Yeah, you just gotta go pick one up. So um Yeah, from the initial preview. I'm glad to turn around for you. I great seeing you two had fun with it. And yeah, from our initial preview. Yeah, because yeah, preview it, it was fun, but like it was fun. But I think it was because it was tabletop simulator for right. me and that it's it's fine, but it's not my favorite means to play board games. Right. So For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I've, I've not seen the Thane quest that you go on right now, so that's completely new to me. Well, I'm gonna, I wanna see what I mean, you saw the quest I did, I chose a different option, so it's branching from there, and, and I still failed. failed. <laughs> so now, when I replay it, I can still get excited to see, oh, I got this quest again, but now I've seen different paths. Mm -hmm. This new quest I have, I've never seen before, so, there's a ton of replayability. Like, I'll do a review of this, uh, this game for, for real, but I'm just saying my initial impressions right now. Like, if you're looking for a game with quests, like lots of option questing, this is it. This is amazing when it comes to quests. For the leveling up, it's mostly just adding more dice, which works because, like, how do you how do you distill Skyrim skills into something that's not going to take up a lot of time and really bog down the system, right? Mm -hmm. So it's all a skill test, rolling extra dice. But the, the odds of the dice are nice because you get an idea of, like, how easy or hard something might be based on the symbols, you get, you get a decent idea of it. And it works. It's nice because it plays so fast, which is great. So, yeah. so how difficult is it to save, pack up, and play later? Uh, everyone has, I'll show you mine right here, right here. A, well, it's green, so whatever. Uh, player boxes, so with the color. And so you will put all your equipment um, in here as well, all your skills in there. And you will also put in extra tokens to keep track of how many legendary uh, skills you have. So you put these threat tokens in there to keep track of whether you have any legendary. Um, when you pull back out, as long as you have the right number of legendary non-legendary skills, it doesn't really matter. Um, so that works out pretty well. The the monsters, you will put them back in a, in a different box. There's a box for the world events. So you put all the current events out in there, active events and world quests in there, and any monsters in that box, and you just respawn them on the wilderness spaces as well. Oh, so you don't have to, like, take a picture of the board. No, you don't. And, like, redo all that. So, technically, when we reset this up, the danger might be in different spots. They might be even further away from the city. So, if you want, like, exactly the same sub, you would have to take a picture of it for that. But it doesn't really matter for how you play, because this game is... It's all about fail forward. It's not like it's trying to... It's not trying to kill you, generally. You're just having a fun time playing. Despite our roles. So... <laughs> How long the setup is? The setup is not too bad. The first time you play it, it's a little long. Just because you have to build your character. Um, but it's mostly just setting the decks out. And there's a insert. I don't know if you can show this. Actually, I can real quick. Hold on. There's this giant tray here with all, all the components uh, separated out, which is really nice. So I just keep this next to me when I'm playing. So it's actually pretty easy to, um, to pull out and set up in that way. So setup's not too bad, honestly. Um, this is mostly decks out. The main thing in the game is the board is massive, so you just need space for that. But it's a gorgeous board. I actually love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, any other questions you have? Any other thoughts? No, I just got to tell work that now I am the Thane of Winterhold and update my... But apparently yeah. Eastmarch doesn't like you. You've got a bounty out there. That's a different section <laughs> region of the world, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, we had I was having fun with this one. I played with Barrent uh, recently because I went up to Con of the Rings and he had a blast. It was funny because we were playing the campaign, and it takes the campaign probably takes. 
Sorry, so campaign play. There's two campaigns in the base box. Each campaign is three chapters. Did you play all three chapters with them? No, I played campaign one, chapter one with them. Okay. And it took us about two hours to do that, which is pretty good for four new people. Mm. Uh, it normally takes around 90 minutes. But uh, it was funny because we all had to meet someplace to do this quest. And and Barrett, who's like, no, no, I got to do my, my side quest. He's used to do this Dark Brotherhood quest, which is hilarious. He was having a blast playing it, so. <laughs> my signature line is going to change. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so. Cool. Cool. Well, that is going to wrap it up. If you guys want to see more of this, let us know. We'll, we can, I have no problem doing more playthroughs of this. We can do the campaign if you guys want, really want to see it. But I really just want to put this out there to give you an idea of how it works and how it plays. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you have any questions, like I said, drop us a comment on YouTube. I'll, tr I'll respond to every comment that's there. If you want to chat about it, I'm on the Modifius uh, Discord and on the OneStop Co-op Shop Discord if you want to find me there if you have any questions. So that should end it. What's coming up? Coming up, we have Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. Continue that Monday. Mm -hmm. We have Marvel United on Wednesday with a campaign we're going on. Saturday morning, we have Co-op Chat. Where we're interviewing uh, another company about an upcoming game. I can't remember the name of the game off the top of my head. And then I probably will do another bonus stream as well. I haven't decided yet. Okay. So. And tomorrow, episode three. That's right. Tomorrow, episode three. <laughs> Quick stops. Quick stops. So if you look up for that one, those are yeah. great. That's Keeps Emmy in shorts. So, cool. Okay. Well, that's all from the Thane of Winterhold tonight. Thank you. For <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you at the next stop. Bye. Bye bye.